this lecture you are going to learn about pointers in C++ okay so we will learn about one very important topic which is pointers in C++ okay so this is a topic which is quite difficult for a beginner okay but we will try to move on in such a way that it becomes very easy for you to understand pointers okay so to understand pointers one of the most important thing is to understand how the numbers okay your data is stored in memory okay how your data is stored in memory okay so this question if you are able to answer it will solve half of your problem regarding pointers okay so let's try to see the memory in your computer is like a table okay so the memory you have is very much similar to a table so it's like a table and where what happens is that the memory each of the memory so let's say you have a table okay and in that table okay what happens is let's see so that you have some space for data to be stored okay so we have something like this and we have data we need to store data okay so let's say these are of course if you have a 32 bit machine so you will have 2 to the power of 32 let's say memory locations are there okay so if an address is represented with 32 bits so you will have 2 to the power of 32 addresses okay so these many memory locations you have okay so they will be numbered okay so let's say they are numbered and we will take a very simple computer which has let's say just eight memory locations okay so this is a small memory okay eight memory locations are there which is numbered from 0 0 0 0 0 1 one zero zero one zero one 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 zero and one 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 okay so we have these eight memory locations and what happens is that let's say each of the memory location can have one byte of memory so they can store one byte of data so if let's say we have on this computer we have an int which is of eight bits okay or one byte so when I define in C that okay int i is equal to 5 and so what will happen this will be stored in the memory let's say i is stored in memory location 1 so i is stored here so it will be 5 will be stored here okay in this place then we define let's say int b is equal to let's say 24 and let's say your compiler assigns a memory location okay so it's list let's say it's assigned a memory location of 4 so here your 24 will be written so this way this is the structure of your computer memory okay so it's kind of a table where each cell has a location okay and in that cell you can store some number of bits okay so for example in this hypothetical computer we had one byte of memory space okay and each of your memory location has a number okay so now pointers so if we see so pointer in C++ so it's defined so if I assign a variable like if you see this code okay so let's now try to see this code I define int i num is equal to 7 so I have an integer which is 7 the name is i num unsigned int ui num which is unsigned int its value is 9 long int is l num and double is d num okay and it's 98.34 so now what we do we just try to see in your computer where are these variables stored okay so i print i num so the value is this 
and where is it stored that also we try to find okay and how we find where it is stored so if you have a variable inum so just apply one ampersand so this ampersand will tell you the address where the memory location where your variable is stored by the computer okay ui num so i print the value using ui num and i print its address where it is stored using ampersand ui num okay similarly for l number long number i print it and ampersand l number will tell me where it is stored okay so this is the basic idea so now in this lecture we just know that okay each variable is stored in some memory location and you can find that value of that memory location using an ampersand sign okay so this is the basic idea that you can take from the first lesson in the next lesson we will see more about pointers and about the dereferencing symbol okay so what just lastly what we want to do we want to debug okay run this code so we build this code it builds fine we try to run it let's try to see and analyze the answer inum is 7 and its address is 0x28ff44 okay so it's assigned some hexadecimal address so here if you see in my computer it's saying that okay it is 6 hexadecimal numbers are there which means 6 into 4 24 bits are allocated in this address space there are 24 bits are there so it means 2 to the power of 24 address spaces are there memory locations then ui num is assigned 28 ff40 it means your i num is 4 bytes okay and before that so ui num is 4 bytes was taken so ff44 was assigned for i num let's see now l num was assigned ff3c okay so based on the difference between the memory location of l num and ui num in fact you can see that okay what's the size okay not always necessary because the memory location might not be contiguous then d num so you can see 28ff30 okay so in your memory table these are the locations where your variables are stored okay so this is for now thanks a lot